www.newtobuzz.com. Name's Ty. This is still a part of uh, the video tutorial series that I'm creating for an Encore Ethernet broadband router, uh, an Encore retailed wired LAN router that you can get a purchase from CDR King here in the Philippines. Uh, this time, what I would like to share to you is how you can get to change the LAN IP address or the device's default IP address into a different IP. Uh, bring up your uh, Firefox or whatever browser you have on whatever computer. Be sure to have everything connected physically. If you don't know how to connect uh, or create a physical connection straight to your computer rooted from the router itself for this configuration or for the setup, you can get to watch our tutorial video. We have that on NudaWorks on YouTube or check out our website, dunaboss.com. And this time, let's just try to type in 192.168.1.1. Enter and should ask you to authenticate. Username and password is required. Uh, sometimes your Encore router would default to a 192.168.10.1. All right. Uh, whatever the case is, you can just type those value in here to check. Uh, let me quickly check that. You can run command on your PC and type in IP C O N F I G. Then check for the default gateway. Be sure you're not looking at the WLAN or your Wi-Fi. You're connected to an Ethernet or your LAN port. So you got the default gateway, 192.168.1.1. Sometimes it's 10.1, all right? Or sometimes it's 0 0.1. Uh, you just have to re-verify, check on the box, or uh, confirm from where you purchased that, or you just do that CMD setup right there. In case you still can't pull up this page or this pop-up to ask you for a username and password, we have a separate tutorial for that. Just find out from the list of the videos that we have. If you manage to get through to this page, username should be admin, password. If you change the password already, you can type the password in. If not, you got a default. Sometimes it's blank. Try to enter. If it doesn't work, try back admin. Then password should be 1234. Click on OK and should log you in to the router itself. Scroll down a little bit. What we're just trying to do right now for this specific video is to change the gateway or the LAN IP address of the device. Uh, check here, say IP address uh, 192.168.1.1. You're on system status right here. Uh, the reason why you would want to ch uh, change or somehow alter your IP address, uh, probably you have two devices connected to a network sharing the same IP address on the same subnet. Uh, it's, excuse me, it's going to create a conflict. Sometimes your network will only see one of those, or sometimes it would not see even either of those. So what you do is you always have, or should have, an IP address, uh, a different IP address for specific devices. So in case you have a D-Link router or a Linksys router having the same IP, 192.168.1.1, so you might want to change this also to something else, 192.168.10. Dot one would probably work or zero dot one would also be okay. So how do you change that? You go up right here on the tabs right on top, look up for something that says LAN L A N, click on that. You got something that would say IP address. Very straightforward from there. Got one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one. Again you'd want to change that either to zero or you'd want to change that either to ten dot one. Okay, again, 192. Let's try it back uh, for 192.168.10.1. Just have to type that in there. And click on OK. And click on Continue after saving. Then it should like just uh, try to pull up the page, but it's not going to give you any. Why? Because it's already 192.168.1.1. So what you have to search back for is a different IP now. 192.168. Uh, 168. Let me put it back. Dot. It should be 10.1 this time, right? But normally with routers like this, uh, you, it will require you to restart your uh, router. So let me just try and pull back up right here, and I'm going to restart physically the Encore uh, modem that I have. 
I mean, sorry, Encore Rotor, and it's booting back up. And you can retry with your command prompt. You can type in CMD and try to, uh, type in again IPCONFIG. Then it should say 192.168.1, I mean, sorry, .10.1 already. Try to refresh this back and should ask you back to log in. Let's try if we can. Admin, password, then you're back again. Check back on the part that says LAN right there. Then re-verify for the IP address 192.168.10.1. Remember, before it was 1.1. .1. This time, it should be 10.1. So from there, you can just click on log out and confirm. Okay, from this part, maybe you'd want to learn more about or you're getting errors with uh, something else or getting some other problems with your Encore broadband router. We still have another tutorial for that. You can find a series of tutorials that we have on uh, our YouTube channel and also do visit our website, www.newtoboss.com. Again, my name's Ty. Thanks for watching.